Hello everyone, this is Krishna and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate React Virtualized package into our React application. So normally, if you have around uh, thousands of records which you want to display in the table or as a list, then uh, uh, in the real-time applications, so this will have a huge impact on the user, user experience. So to avoid this, for the smooth user experience, we will be using React Virtualized package to display all the list of data, like thousands of data or lakhs of data, anything. So for this, we need to integrate uh, this package into our application. I've created a project called uh, Just React. In this, I have app.js. So in this app.js, first you will see without integrate thing the React Virtualized package, how it will be, and uh, with integrating the React virtualized package, how the performance will be affected. So let us go to this project. So first, I'm going to remove this code. First, we need to import uh, the React from React. Then we need to import uh, lorem ipsum from lorem ipsum package. So we need to Im install this package by using this command npm install install lorem ipsum. So this will uh, be used to get some sample data for the list to render. And I'm going to import uh, the app.css here. And uh, let us take some sample row count I'm taking it as a thousand so inside this I'm going to create a list array of uh, how many records we need to have so I'm providing this row count here to fill up with the sample data I'm using dot fill dot map so this map will render the elements so inside this I'm going to return some sample object for each of this map element And after this, I am going to take a return which will consist of some sample HTML. So I am going to provide this entire code in my website and I will be providing that website link in the below description. You can uh, copy that and play it with it. So this uh, HTML will contain the list of items. By using this map, we are going to render the data. So inside this, each item will be rendered. And each item will have an image. So here instead of carbon, I'm taking item dot image. And here I'm, I'm going to take item dot name and item dot text and item dot ID. So these all will be coming from this list of array. So let us save this and let us uh, verify how it works for thousand records. So default export should be needed here. So we need to make it as default. You can remove this export here. Let us uh, And um, so we have some issue with the list uh, and I have resolved it. Now let us save this and uh, yeah, we should be able to see the list of items got rendered here. So we have around uh, 1000 records. So 
you scroll a bit, uh, all this HTML will be rendered at a single time. So now let us uh, increase the number of records to 1 lakh. Let us save this. So now you should be able to see the performance impact of this rendering. So this is where uh, this React virtualized package will come handy. So let us refresh this. So you can see that uh, it's still loading. And uh, you should be able to see a wait and exit pop up here. As uh, the number of records are increasing, the rendering time of the application will become heavier. So because of this, we will be able to see this uh, wait and exit very different things. And uh, yeah, this is the impact of this large number of records. Now we will. Uh, use the same code but we will add this react virtualize package into this application and let us see the impact of this so for this you need to install this uh, react virtualize package for this the command is npm install react virtualized So let us wait until the command <laughs> this in package got installed. So it got uh, installed successfully and uh, you can see the react virtualized in the package.json with version 9.22.5. So let us change this code. So here I need to add uh, a react virtualized dist import. After this, I'm going to add some more code where I'm going to render some uh, lag data, one, one lag data, and inside this, I'm going to have a list. So this will be generated from the array, and this ray takes a row count of one lakh, and uh, all the one lakh rows will be generated. And I will be having a render row where I will be placing the rendering code which will contain the image and uh, the name, text, ID and all. So inside this return statement I am going to use the list which we are going to use from react virtualized package. Now this will take the row width and uh, different things we have placed here as constants and uh, this will take the render row. In this render row we are going to render all the HTML which we have written directly in the written previously. So yeah, that's all I have. So now let us save this and let's verify whether it's working or not. Sorry, so we have some issue here. So yeah, so let us save this, and uh, yeah, you should be able to see all these records got rendered in the virtual list. So there are around uh, one lakh records. So now, if you refresh this, there will be no impact, no impact at all for the user experience. There will be smooth user experience by using this React virtualized list. So what happens internally is uh, it will render only the items which are displayed to the user, which are visible to the user. All the other things will be loaded whenever we scroll down. So this is what happens in the React virtualized package. So that's all I have in this video. If you have any queries, you can email me at uh, uh, frontend techies or full stack techies and uh, all this code will be available in my website which I will be providing later in the description. Thank you.